when just listening this morning to also the shares and questions, I was thinking of well, the Four Mainstays lifestyle. It, it provides um, a culture of complete open-heartedness, support and empowerment, complete respect and true equality. And to come together like this, in this recognition of who we truly are, this empowerment, where we can speak openly about everything, because it's not like a place where we just are having happy, positive thoughts and emotions, or that we would cultivate that. It's a place where everything, as it is, is, is completely like, normalized as a human experience and empowered in a way that we recognize, wow, this is who we truly are. We are empowered beings, feeling everything, not cut off state, you know, like we can't avoid any feelings. We cannot, like, we never know what life brings. We don't know what the next minute really brings in terms of thoughts and emotions and situations, really. So when, like, everything can come up, we had a wide variety of shares from, from feelings of um, the painful feelings of death and suicide to depression, anxiety, and to great cheer. How do we bring this all together? And in the introduction to open intelligence and living a, just living a life of like mutual empowerment, where people come together, taking responsibility for their data, taking responsibility of who we are, and, and creating a culture of complete openness. Openness and coming together in that, like, I felt it was, it was my, my heart was just warmed up with love. And it's always like we are made of love and support and empowerment. And to come together like this is what basically the Balance View Training offers, a lifestyle where humans can, or where we as human beings can really extract the power, have a, know our unique strengths, gifts and talents, and know how can we create a world where we can be empowered with who we truly are, and come together with everything as it is. There's, you know, like that, where we support each other in exactly what comes up for each other. And this is really what, what happens in the Four Mainstays, is that, you know, because we really, like I said, we don't know what happens, and death, and in our family and closed ones and really everywhere in the world. And how do we deal with that? It's a taboo topic. We best not speak about it and, and have to um, almost hide away. And it's a big fear, it's like a threat, like being afraid. And it doesn't mean like when relying on open intelligence and everything is okay, it's just great cheer and then it's all Gone. It is a truly facing everything as it is and um, feeling really the whole world. You know, when, when we heard this morning the shares, I think everyone could feel deeply either our own experiences plus everyone's own experience. And that's how we unite because we really can deeply understand each other from, yeah, just from who we are really, because we are made of the same substance or not substance. <laughs> we are basically made of the same thing. <laughs> perfect love and perfect knowledge and perfect benefit. Hmm? Have the capacity to be of benefit, have the capacity to connect deeply no matter who we are, and the capacity to be in all situations where we can help each other and support each other when something, when whatever happens in, in our life. Mm -hmm. That's what the Four Mainstays I, I see now in my experience, that all these 
You know, there's a, there's a fearlessness, but a complete feeling everything. You know, I, I just like feeling everything and not being afraid of my feelings and thoughts. And then getting to know complete exaltation and empowerment and great cheer. Because then we understand also the true meaning of all data and it includes data of death. And it doesn't make it, oh, it doesn't matter because we open intelligence, death, dying. It's not an extreme state, you know. Just this morning we texted someone, oh, just be careful. And you know, driving scooter, we have to like really be careful. And it's, it's not that we're just like, okay, we're open intelligence, nothing matters. Mm -hmm. We take care. Or if something happens in our, in our family or loved ones that we have to like, okay, let's feel just good feelings and I'm resting well. Feeling it totally, the sadness and the pain. And, but the short moments are crucial, like in my experience, for all the negative emotions, without short moments, it's like, it's like a dark hole. It feels like dark, like dead end. Yeah. Including death, and or whatever our beliefs are around death, of course. And so in short moments, we don't have to like even like have any kind of ideas, but that short moment has a magical empowerment in that moment. And it also, like a short moment, even while someone is dying or died or with, and with our own experience, has such an empowerment for the entire situation, for the benefit of all. It's like something we can just simply, like when thoughts come up or when something happens, we know we will never forget short moments. And, in, and that the last moment of our own taking the last, last breath, we will remember short moments. Once you heard it, you'll remember open intelligence because that's an intelligence that does never die. And to, we can't really think what that really means, but we can test it out now. And that's, I see in my experience, like the fear of my own death or my family, close ones, everyone's really death here is, it's not, not one of, oh, I don't mind. It's, it's one of complete caring, but not of fear. Like, you know, I was so, like, always afraid of dying myself or other people that are close. And that really can just be empowered in a way that, yeah, to live a life where, where then nothing poses a threat and where we then also truly can help people who are in, you know, serious illnesses or suddenly die and then of course, you know, the suicide. It's um, where we can help each other as a cult, of, as human beings, to see well, what, what do we really need as a human culture so that we don't, that we are not like lost in all this hopelessness where there's no way out. So it motivates us to the benefit of all for all beings, to end the suffering for all beings, to end war, to end the conflict. And this is the invitation of the Balanced Youth Training to see that this starts in ourselves, where we can then truly be of benefit to all. Where a short moment has such great power, we think, wow, it's just a short moment, but this is actually a potent short moment for the benefit of all. And it changes mind completely, the use of the mind. It changes the use of the mind to a balanced perspective and to a mind that is devoted and dedicated to the benefit of all without contriving it. Like we don't contrive anything. It's a short moment is uncontrived. It's like just right now. And then what exaltation it's so scary to think, like, be the power. 
that we are so powerful, it can be scary. Well, for some it's maybe not scary, but for some it can be really scary to think, wow, I actually have strengths, gifts and talents. I can actually step up. I don't have to hide behind the screen. <laughs> I can step up, can speak here. I can, that's just an example. Can the mountain goat can climb mountains. The eagle can fly. The mountain goat does not fly, just doesn't fly. Did you see ever a mountain goat fly? Or a whale slip down the mountains, doesn't it? Or up the mountains. It, it just doesn't. So everyone has unique strengths, gifts, and talents, and it's just perfect. You wouldn't expect a whale to go up the mountains. You expect, you know, that's with all of us. We don't like compare, oh, I'm bad because I can't do this and that. Can't fly like the whale. I can't swim like the whale. <laughs> So it is not, it's like, so it is like empowering our unique strengths, gifts and talents and each one is unique and empowered. And a short moment of open intelligence in the Four Mainstays lifestyle, it just opens up all these thoughts that are so hopeless and so like, like a dark hole where limiting Limiting beliefs and limiting descriptions, the dictionary definitions, having it all fall on your head and then that's it. It's a victim and it can go on for, for a whole lifetime without knowing the true definition. Every word in the dictionary has only one definition. And so it would, would save us a couple of books, having just one definition for each of the labels. But it's not an extreme, but you know, the true definition is great illumination, empowerment, it's open intelligence. Only with knowing that you understand the books, truly. So not to get rid of all the dictionaries, but at the same time, knowing the true definition is so uh, empowering. And it opens up mind, like in your field of passion and knowledge, you can exalt knowledge in a way never maybe seen before. You know, you might be a scientist in any kind of area, or therapist, or musicians. There is something in this area where you can exalt whatever you do in a way possibly never thought of before. So this power of open intelligence, where we house the knowledge of the universe, like we say, oh no, that's not me, but to recognize that that's what we are all made of, the power of the universe, and to see that we can actually step up for that. But that's really what it is about when we do the Four Mainstays lifestyle, the training. Like one, a one-day training unlocks this power, like, you know, the code is cracked. And the 12 empowerments unlock it completely. <laughs> they um, just like changing life in a way that is actually, un so that was like, for me, it was, it's unimaginable that life could be ever lived in that way. It was not even like an option on the horizon. You know, it was not an option dreamt of. So that's my experience, at least, you know, like that life changed in a way like, wow, is that, that that was possible to live a completely open-hearted, relaxed, empowered life where, where there, the possibilities of what I can see is possible for myself, but also for everyone was just not imagined before. And to step up like that and really say, oh, wow, we can go for it. We can go for the true equality, for a culture of respect and open-heartedness that is for the benefit of all, where it unites all people. Because here we have many, many different traditions and nationalities here. But it, like it says, we all have our cultures to share that ultimately, it, it just does, get, does not get us anywhere. So the true equality, without extremes, empowers us to step up as a, as a global human culture. So, and you can bring it back to short moments now. <laughs> you know, when you look at that, it might seem like, how will that work out? You know, the wars pop up, but like, 
we start with a short moment. Yeah. Yeah, so. And even when, while you're waiting for the afflictions to go away, you know, like that thought might never go, it might never go away, but it's totally illuminated, bright and clear like sky. That what happens in short moments, really wanting not the afflictions. Or you cry in the morning, doesn't mean that like, you're not resting. And, you know, you might think, wow, I should take more short moments, then I would not cry. It's not like that. It's completely free in its own place. And that's what I see in my experience. 